good evening. My lettuce has gone to bolt, a lot of it, and the rest has gotten bitter. But I'm cool with that. Um, I ate off it for quite a bit and I donated a lot, so she was a good run. The problem is I've been very bad at sequentially planting this year. So I have nothing ready. Uh, well, I shouldn't say nothing. I have a few things of the mini. Um, I'm also switching to a more robust romaine. But anyway, my goal is I'm gonna try to just work on one bed a day. Just try to do a bed a day. I don't know what I'm gonna plant. I know tonight I'm gonna plant romaine, enough romaine for me personally. And um, I still have to decide what I'm gonna plant for uh, a fall garden. I wanna keep growing to donate, but um, I don't know, I need to have a serious conversation with myself if it's something I can do or not. Because um, I've just been doing too much and then when I do too much, I don't do anything. Um, but anyway, tonight I'm just gonna try to clean this bed up. Um, I'm gonna plant enough romaine for me and then try to do a little bit every night. I don't think, um, as it is right now, I don't think that the trees back here are getting enough light. I think that's why they're just not growing the way the other ones are. Because the jostaberry, that's right here too, it looks looks in rough shape. And the, jo the other jostaberries I have are really flourishing. The two back here just don't, don't look well. Slight change of plans. I have about half of that weeded or cleared out and I planted about 12 heads of romaine. I think more clearly when I'm out here. So what I'm gonna do is every Monday I'm gonna start planting to get into a, into a habit of sequentially planting. So for now, you know, weeding that is gonna be kind of a waste because I'll, I'll use that bed just for, for lettuce for personal use because it's close and I eat a lot of lettuce. So what I'm gonna do tonight before it gets dark is I'm gonna plant some butternut squash. I think I'm a little late to the game to get it in the ground up here, but it's a variety that I think is a little bit shorter, a little bit small, a little bit smaller guys. So I think I might be able to get away with it. The people out there who know more than me can can butternut survive some frost. Um, I don't know. That'd be cool if you could throw that in the comments. Let me know. Um, if not, it'll be a learning experience, and I'm not going to be growing anything else up the up the trellis or up my fence anyway. Maybe some beans, but I don't really like beans, so. Um, I'm gonna throw those in there because the clock's ticking on them. I'm losing light. But I'm gonna just plant some stuff until I become a walking mosquito bite. Um, the, the row I have open right now or, or weeded, I'm just gonna plant some Asian greens and some other things, some onions and whatnot. And then I'll just keep planting every Monday. And then I'll have some stuff. Hopefully hopefully I get this before, before, before frost. But Asian greens are pretty hardy, so a few light frosts shouldn't really bother them. And I have plenty of time before a light frost for these. They're only 40 days. I'm 21 for baby, so I like some little baby greens. Okay, so I buried those. In about 40 days, I'll go pop by and some Asian greens. That's it for tonight. Um, I'm losing daylight quickly. I'm actually surprised it's hung on this uh, this long. There's not a cloud, so that probably helps. Um, I'm gonna grab some carrots and a couple of cucumbers to juice before I go to bed. Maybe some kale. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. 
I had a black walnut tree that I fell a couple weeks ago, right beside my house, the tree. Um, I've been trying to fell it for a long time, but my grandpa planted it, so my dad's a little bit more nostalgic than I am. I'm more of a, my grandpa would want me to fight the man, you know, he'd want me to grow some food in, in its place that I can, you know, use, use better than black walnuts. But anyway, um, when I had that tree, I noticed there was always, um, I don't know exactly what they were, I think there was some form of beetle. There was a ton of beetles on them. And I don't know this for a fact, I didn't look it up or anything, but this is just what I observed. And there were always beetles on it, and the leaves were always, always munched away. And I noticed the first time I harvested kale, when my brother and I harvested the kale, we, we got about 40%, I would say, from that kale. Because about 60% of it was so eaten up that it was, it was hard, it was, it was useless. Uh, I mean, I still ate some and I composted it and I, you know, I mean, it's just aesthetics. But I've noticed now that since I fell that walnut tree, my kale is barely touched. So I don't know if there's a specific pest or a beetle that is attracted to black walnuts, but I haven't had any issues with kale or beets or anything like that since I've felled the, the walnut. But anyway, I'm gonna grab some carrots, some cucumbers, we gotta water this. Um, should be interesting because I only have a uh, sprinkler out here. I don't. I, I ran over my nozzle with a cart, so it RIP'd. But thanks for hanging out. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do like shorter videos, maybe more often, but then have maybe like a, a weekly recap or a longer video on Friday. I might do it that way, um, so I can shoot for a video every Friday. And then if I do something in the meantime, I'll, I'll take a quick vid and throw it out there. Thanks for hanging out. Be good. Fight the man. Take it easy. I planted my carrots way too closely together, but I still rabbit them. I did make the adjustment for my next batch, my next row, um, and they do seem to be growing a little bit bigger. 